Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we'll be taking a look at the Asus Zenfone 3 Zoom. Most importantly, as the title says, we're gonna take a look at the brand new portrait mode that's available in the new Android 7 upgrade for this phone. And what exactly is portrait mode? So let me just show you a real quick demo here. This picture is taken by my Nikon D7000 with an aperture of f2.8. So as you can see right here, the first figure here is Jake from Adventure Time of course. He is super sharp. As you can see right here, all of the background is just completely blurred off. And Ring Princess on the other side right here is situated a bit on the rear side and she is pretty much quite blurry. So right here is how you do it with the Asus Zenfone 3 Zoom. You can find it in the filters menu right here and you can just select the button called portrait and there you have it. This is the brand new feature that you have in the Asus Zenfone 3 Zoom's camera. It's pretty simple. You get a slider to tell you how much blur you want and well, just tap on where you want it and take the picture. So right here, you can actually see how much blur is changing at the background right here. As the value decreases, the background just gets a lot sharper. So here's the second picture. As you can see right here, the background is pretty sharp and that is how you deal with the portrait mode. So in low light condition, it just works the same actually. You just tap it where you want to take the picture, press the button and there you have it. Pretty good. But of course the portrait mode is not only for portraits, you can also take pictures like this where no human faces are involved. So the second part of this video, how do you use the manual mode on the ASUS Zenfone 3 Zoom? So it's pretty simple, I do recommend you getting a tripod for this for the best picture you can take. A simple one would do, just prop it up, don't shake it and you can take good pictures. So just head on over to the filters menu again, tap manual and the interface changes. So right here you can see that my settings is at zero exposure. Uh, 1509 ISO, that's very high. So what I'm gonna do first is set my ISO all the way to the bottom, ISO 50 on this smartphone, and then change my exposure to plus zero. That's really important if I don't want any noise. And then the shutter speed is at half a second, which is pretty adequate right here. If you want a brighter image, just set it to about one second and you will get what you want. So what is the difference between a smartphone camera and a DSLR? Of course, this is the picture I took earlier. And when you zoom it in, you can see that it is quite a noisy picture, especially at the Ring Princess right there, as compared to my Nikon D7000. And the image on the Nikon D7000 is just very sharp and very clear. But of course, there is just no competition in terms of portability when it comes to smartphone photography because you get one smartphone, you can post all your pictures to Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, blah 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 at an instant. On a DSLR however, you do need a lot of post-processing. So that is a brief look on the Asus Zenfone 3 and the camera. Do like and subscribe if you want more of these videos. And thanks for watching, it's Amna Silma and have a nice day. Thank you.